going to um, do our first cheat code at this point in our series. Uh, cheat codes are basically us giving you a quick tip about how to hobby better uh, that you can use or apply. We'll also be applying this um, technique not only to the model today, but to future models. And we're sharing this so you can apply it to your own models. Uh, so if you're just tuning in or you're not one of our Patreon subscribers, you certainly can subscribe at um, Patreon slash White Metal Games and see the entire build for this Land Raider Ares. Um, however, if you are just tuning in through YouTube or some other medium, um, what we're talking about today is uh, our Cheat Code series is an exclusive video series that we release to clients that allows them an insight look at how we achieve some higher end results with um, less time, less work, saving you time, money, and uh, really just letting you allow you to build your models the way we build our models. Uh, so although the model's done, there's a lot of little areas on this model I'd like to touch up. Uh, but now that the model is fully built, uh, minus these plates that are left off for painting, um, there's some places that I'd really like to touch up um, and kind of clean up just a little bit. I can feel a few rough areas here or there. So what we're going to recommend for that is this stuff. This is called plasticine. Plasticine is essentially plastic cement. Um, it's a, uh, a really nice plastic cement. What's great about it is that you can buy them in these bottles. Now the first bottle costs a little much. I, I feel like it's like around $15. So it'll cost you a little bit. And you don't have a standard applicator for it. Um, which means that if you want to apply it with a needle tip, you actually have to buy one of their own applicators. And it's kind of a pain. You have to withdraw it as though it were a syringe and then apply it. What we have found this stuff is great for, though, is general cleanup of mold lines. So what you're going to do is you're going to have an old brush, something like this, something that's really, really beat up, and it's just no longer viable for painting. Uh, and we're going to assign this to our paint, to our plasticine pot, and it's going to always be our brush for this. Uh, because of the fact that once you use it, it really does ruin the bristles. The nice thing is once you dip it into the plasticine, it's totally usable once again. You can see that it's, it's taken back its softness. So it's working great for this sort of stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to apply it very gently over any area that has a scar. Anything that we see like this that has a little bit of a mold line, we're going to kind of take it and just run it over it real quick, real briefly. Places like here where we had a little bit of an accident earlier where we accidentally put the plate on backwards the first time. These areas have a little bit of a glue scar or plastic weld scar left over. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna gloss over that with just a little bit of this stuff. What this is gonna do is it's actually gonna melt it just a tiny bit. Um, and that's totally okay, because what it's gonna do is it's gonna round the edges a little bit. It's gonna help to soften these transitions in some places. So really, I'm just looking for anywhere that there is a major mold line, like right here, for example. You can see on the top of this searchlight, there's a pretty big one. Uh, and by just taking a little bit of this and sort of smothering it over it, what's going to happen is it's going to melt that area. Uh, and then when it uh, 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 cures, it should, in theory, be probably not super smooth, but much, much smoother. And if we have to go over it again, we can. But really, this is just kind of a once-over technique where you look for areas where you would just like the mold lines to be removed a little bit. Maybe you didn't get them off the first time. Maybe you were in a hurry, um, like me. Um, I get so excited about these builds that I sometimes don't take the proper time to really clean my mold lines the way I should. And my client should not be penalized because I'm excited about his project or her project. Um, so this is just a, a final step that you can see here. It only takes a few seconds, and it really will kind of make the model look much, much better. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I'm looking at it now. I'm not seeing any other major mold lines that are really sticking out to me. Really just the seams on the tops of these, uh, the searchlight and these cannons. Now it's important that once you put it down, try not to touch it again. Your goal should be to hit it the first time and, and then really just kind of leave it alone. Um, if you do go back and touch it again, it's okay, but just be sure to use your brush. Don't use your finger. Because if you use your finger, any of the oils there will be uh, lost onto it. Could leave a fingerprint or worse. Uh, you could physically damage the actual model. The plastics will be soft to the touch. So that's it. Uh, plasticine is a great medium for mold line removal. Uh, it certainly saves your fingers. You don't want to have a thick callus like I have um, from cutting your thumb too many times. Uh, and it certainly will achieve a higher end finish on your models. Even already now, just minutes later, you can already see this starting to dissolve. 
starting to soften and it's going to end up looking real real nice when that is nice and done. So for your mold line removal plasticine plasti weld, you pick this up on eBay for about 15-20 bucks give or take. You can also get the uh, a applicator. It does not come standard with the applicator, but you can certainly use that if you want to use it for um, fine finishes. Yeah, can't recommend it more. Uh, so that's it. For more cheat codes like this, tune in to our Patreon channel, uh, Patreon slash White Metal Games, or check out our YouTube channel, YouTube slash White Metal Games, for more cheat code tips like this, or to see the full assembly of this Land Raider Ares, check it out on Patreon. Subscriptions start at just $2, uh, and you really can't beat it. So that's it for now. Until next time, put your minis where your mouth is. Mm -hmm.